Pluto, now considered a dwarf planet, is present in the outer edges of the solar system. Owing to its distance from the Sun, the temperature and light it receives during the day are both extremely low. What you see right now is the afternoon as seen from the surface of Pluto. Due to little presence of light, you can see Charon, the largest moon of Pluto, without much difficulty even during the afternoon. The atmospheric gases present on Pluto cause its sky to appear blue as well, much like our own Earth. But unlike our Earth, the atmosphere here does not contain oxygen. Instead, it is a combination of nitrogen, methane and carbon monoxide. The surface temperature here is negative 240 degrees Celsius. Maybe the numbers may not drive the point home, but this will. The ice you see, it's not made of water. It is nitrogen and methane that have been frozen solid in the bitter cold. In 2006, NASA sent a space probe named New Horizons towards this planet. According to the imagery and data obtained from it, beneath this icy surface exists a sea of liquid water. The scientists cannot say for certain what it is that has prevented the water below the surface from freezing, but the most popular theory is that the core of the Pluto contains a radioactive material whose radiation provides the energy due to which the temperature of water underneath the surface stays warm enough for liquid water to exist. If future tests confirm this theory, then Pluto will also become a viable candidate in search of extraterrestrial life. The water under the surface of Pluto might have unicellular or simple multicellular organisms, as it has two key components that kick-started the life on Earth. Liquid water, and an energy source heating it up.